coach is Rick Stewart with All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. Triple to the, to the load option. The load option, always, the only thing the load option does is wide receiver still stocks no back. The load is between the play side A back and the play side tackle. We, we both do that. We, we stay on that together. We get the play side linebacker. Either the play side tackle gets him or the play side A back gets him. The tackle gets him for the dive. The A back gets him for quarterback to pitch. The play side guards rule is based to ace. It centers the ace to get ace to scoop and the backside scoop, scoop. Everybody else on the backside is cut off, cut off. Any an issue. It's usually an eight man front. It's usually an eight man defense. You're getting ace to the backside linebacker. Last time I show you against a six one, we had that guy there. I said that was a slip because this linebacker here would have stacked out and had him playing cover four. Now they line up an eight man front. They kick the front a little bit. Here's one, here's two, three run supports in the middle of the field. Anytime run supports in the middle of the field, then all of a sudden now you run a load scheme. These two have this linebacker to that safety. That tackle should go here to there. He ought to go straight up the field. We told this guy in the past, step with the inside foot straight up the field like they're going through the five, uh, outside foot straight up the field like you're going through that five techniques outside shoulder. Because you should see if he disappears inside, if he disappears inside, then that guy's coming right there in a C stunt. He's got the C stunt. Now, I'll be honest with you, asking the A back to block a play side linebacker in the ACC or SEC games, eh, that's a that's a man's job. And we've done some good job. Our A back coach has done a good job. Monk was an A back coach. Lamar Owens was a good A back coach. We've had some good A back coaches, and those kids played hard for them. They did a good job. Middle Tennessee. We're going to ace to the ace to the backside linebacker. Play side tackle is going to veer release inside. Linebacker doesn't – linebacker kind of squats right there. A back goes straight up the field. Steps with the inside foot right through the five technique. Five technique disappears, so you should see C stunt. Here comes that A back. He sees the C stunt, picks up the linebacker. The, a, the tackle works through the outside. He's working to the outside, working to the outside. He seals the back linebacker. Well, I don't know what he seals. I don't know if it's a seal. He kind of – he ends up chopping him. And that's a walk in the park. Well, a dive in the park. Quick ace right here to the backside linebacker. Short scoop right here. Deliver the three technique to the five. See how he delivers right there? Now that's laying on the ground on the backside, six, nine. One, two, three. Every step has to have three steps. If you don't have three steps, there's no action. Third step's your action step. You have to have three steps. You got to have action. That's a nice job by the A back right there. Play side A back. Step inside foot right to the five technique. Five technique disappears. Here comes that linebacker ceiling. There goes the quarterback. Too wide and went out the door. V release inside. Tackle picks up the linebacker. This is going to be a give read, boys. Five technique came streaming up the field. Five technique came streaming up the field. So if that eight back steps the inside foot and goes straight up the field, and that five technique runs into him, he should have stepped straight up the field. He, that five technique runs into him, man, he ain't got to worry about that. That ball's been handed off. He got a whole butt to get that safety now. Because that's the only guy that can make the play. Ace by the right guard. Ace of the nose to the backside linebacker. Linebacker runs over. The guard's up the field, baby. Got a nice scoop on the backside. Three technique disappeared. Backside tackle read it. He worked himself up to the backside full player. Throwing that full player right there. Gosh, dang it. He was a good player, 64. Watch him. He, 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 it, it, it frustrates him. I guarantee it. I hate when they clap like that. Too many clappers, you know, they don't they don't make plays when they clap. We don't want that. All right, a load a load to the top right there. Boom, hard inside. Five technique squeeze this time. He almost crossed the tackle's face, so we're going to wash it. So now what should happen is the fullback should bounce to the outside. When that happens, the fullback's on the fullback's track. He's running his track like always. If that guy washes down, then he should bounce around. And he could pick up the backside safety or back or the safety or work up through there. And now when you get the pitch, instead of having that free safety run through the alley, that fullback ought to be able to bounce out there like that. But what happens to the fullbacks? And I don't blame them. Five techniques come down and blow them up all game. Sometimes they uh, they take a snap off. And this one did. So not so good. Eight man front, twos and fours, twos and fives, B gap linebackers, hip line, hip, hip, hip linebackers. One's, one's the five technique. Five technique comes down, takes a dive. Two's going out there to push it, and we're down. I don't know what the heck that safety's, that the, the center is doing. Center has half to play side A seam, the backside linebacker. 
he don't have anybody on this one. This is not 12 and 13. He doesn't have that play side. He's going through. He should have picked up that backside linebacker, and then he should look back here, the backside safety. And guess who makes the dang play? Backside safety. But we had someone to account for him. If the guy was on was on point, he wasn't on point. I'm gonna move to the next one because I want to show you some new. I'm gonna show you some new stuff that's that people have been using against us and and uh, trying to come back and do some stuff on us. I like all that. Those are some good plays. But uh, there's plenty of good plays here, boys. The options have been a good, been excellent to me. Made a lot of damn good memories. This is 13 card. 13 card. It's short for Cardinal, obviously. We 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 got it. It's against Louisville, and you carried it on the rest of the time. All right, here's a six-one defense. But what happens to you sometimes is they they're going to squat. And number three again, he's tight. And also sometimes you get three two exchanges. So what you're going to ask the tackle to do is zone step to the outside. He's going to outside release like he would always outside release against a six-one. The center's going to go straight up for the Mike linebacker like he always does for a six-one. The guard's going to go ahead and block us. And then what's going to happen on this stack look, on this stack look, and it's the all stack looks, guys. It's a triple stack, and it's a 6-1 with a stack. You can run card. And it, it'll stop it. What you're asking, the, you're, what you're telling your tackle to do is the tackle is blocking for the quarterback. He will always block number two in the option count. And if he's blocking number two in the option count, that means the quarterback only has to read one guy. But he's reading this area here. He's reading the stack area. And, yeah. I, I understand high school is a little bit different than college, and we get to spend a lot of time on the practice field in game tape, and we get to watch it. But you can see what happens right here is the tackle tries to step outside and the five technique widens with him. So the tackle is going to try to base reach that five technique no matter what. Outside release the tackle right here. He's going to try to base either 53 or three. That's what he's basing. He's basing the outside peck. Center is going to run his track straight up the hash. Straight up the field, that's a beautiful first step. That linebacker runs out. Now that quarterback knows that he can pitch off the mic. He can actually pitch off the mic if he wants to. But he's never going to have to, boys, because what's going to happen is we're going to end up picking him up once one way or the other. He's going to run out like he did right there, and now that quarterback goes because what they've been telling their defense is one takes a dive, two takes the quarterback. Or if they run an easy stunt, then number two becomes one and one becomes two, and when one becomes two, the tackle bases number two, which is the case from point right here. Now, the tackle didn't, didn't base reach him. He turned him back inside, and the quarterback, he was an athlete enough to make a seam up in there, and the mic had run out. So all of a sudden, it worked out. It worked out that particular play. But it's going to work out all particular plays against the stack defense. The stack defense is stop easies to stop one and two, stop three, two exchanges. I'll try to get you a card where the, where the guy steps out and the quarterback, they both step out, and you can hand the ball off. Going to the top. Guy does a good job. Now you can see the tackle. He's on that line. He's on number two. He's on the outside peck, and that's exactly where he should be. He should be blocking for the quarterback. The A-back cuts the free safety because the free safety was a free runner. If you In all triple stacks, you tell the free safety you're a free runner because three's on the line of scrimmage, and they're thinking, hey, that's one, that's two, and three, so you're just a windshield wiper on both sides. Well, he comes back in there. we got news for you, bud. All of a sudden, that play side guard gets the Mike linebacker. The play side tackle box number two, and now – the outside guy becomes three, and the free safety is the hit is the free, is the free runner, but the a back ends up picking his butt up, which is nice. Uh, the load cracks. I think that everybody's seen this part. I'm going to go past this, but what happens is they walk the safeties up, and they walk guys in there. Now you're going to run the crack, and now. They stem down inside to a, a shade reduce, I believe. So now you're going to double the three technique. There really is no number three out here. They're going to run a crack, but there's no one to crack, so the wide receiver is going to go back inside and hit the deepest guy. When we played the, the Louisville right here, you, you can see that that triple stack right there, they got a 0-3, and look how close that three technique, that, that number three is to the line of scrimmage. Heck, he's three yards. You couldn't ask that A back to block that guy. It's an impossible block. I, I mean, oh, he might be able to get into his feet, but he can't hold it long enough for the quarterback to get out there. But with your tackle now, your tackle outside releases, he ought to get himself in position where he can pick up that whoever becomes number two. And in this particular case, I think the linebacker is going to scrape out. Yeah, because five techniques takes the dive, and the, line, and the quarterback and the tackle gets the number two. 
number two now, number three is now become number two in this card count. And all of a sudden now the quarterback pushes out to number three. And all of a sudden that guy's widening and wide and wide because he's slow played and a back goes up onto the free safety. We should have a seam right there. But you can see right here where the tackle outside releases. He's going to outside release and he's going to seal that play side linebacker. He, and it's it's simple. And the play side guard gets a kill shot on, on the Mike linebacker. He's uncovered, steps inside foot, boom. Outside peck, 56. Outside peck, 56. And he does. He gets on the outside peck, and that's why the quarterback ends up running up in that seam right there, boys. That's a nice-looking rep. It's got to be something on the backside that cut off because what happens is they never got anybody else on the backside. So 98, the backside linebacker, he's at the center. Yeah, it's got to be the center because the left guard is going to cut the nose. All right. Left guard ends up chopping up that nose. The center ends up cutting the backside hip, the fold player. Play side guard gets the Mike linebacker. Both linebackers are got. If you get the play side linebacker, good things happen. Everybody's happy in the O-line meeting room when, when the play side linebacker's been got. Especially, let's see what. Cherokee. I told you before that the, the two eyes pinching the center, like right here. Watch this. This has got to be Pitt. Pitt will do, will do this to you a bunch. They'll try to – they'll pinch those two eyes into the center so the center can't get up to the mic. In this case, they didn't. They slant it, and the center gets up on the mic. We're outside releasing. All right, Pitt coming off the goal line. The, the center's – so we're going to get a Cherokee. The center's going to try to take over the two eye. And the right guard is going to try to work up to the mic. The tackle is still going to outside release on Cherokee. He had outside release on Cherokee, and that's a pretty good combo right there. And then the guard should try to come off. And you get a nice double team on that two-eye, too. And I know it's a Cherokee because the right guard should be stepping with the outside foot. And when he steps with the outside foot, he can never let that two-eye cross his face. Step with the outside foot, let the center come over there, take over that two-eye, deliver the two-eye to the, to the – deliver the two-eye to the center. And work your way up to the to the Mike linebacker. That tackle, by the way, he will outside release, and he's going to look Mike linebacker to the backside safety, just like he always would. So even though you got even though you you got these two guys for these two, he's still got the play side linebacker too because it's still a triple, it's still twelve. We just put a Cherokee call on it, so he gets pushed on that two eye. Let that fullback he gets picked up, and he goes in there and seals the Mike linebacker, and there goes the quarterback. That's Cherokee. That'll help you some a little bit too. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data. And you also get notified when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.